Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aditya and today we will be discussing about stock market prediction and forecasting using stacked LSTM. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So this is my Google Colab notebook in which I have coded this complete project. So for your better understanding, I would expand this term LSTM. So LSTM basically stands for long short term memory. This is a kind of a model which is used in time series analysis, prediction, classification, etc. So this is a time series problem. So we will use a stacked LSTM model in order to do so. So first of all, for every data science project, we need to import all the required libraries like pandas, numpy, matplotlib. Here we are importing the parameters of matplotlib from matplotlib.pylab and we are setting the parameters as figure size and we are previously setting the figure size as 20,10 since we will be plotting some time series analysis of the stock which we have then we have imported min max scalar which will convert our stock market values in the range of 0 to 1 so that it will be easy for our lstm model to predict now we'll run this cell and know what it does It's connecting when it will be connected, then it would run. It would take a couple of seconds to run. Yeah, it's initializing connected. Okay. Yeah, so it ran since it shows a green tick, which means it ran completely. Now we'll be reading our data from a website, which is the link is provided here. If you want to see the data, how it looks like in raw form, it is this complete data, this very long. So now coming back to our project, we are reading the data set using the read underscore CSV command and then we will print the first five rows using df dot head command yeah so it printed the first five rows of our data set as you can see the data set contains the columns like date open high low last close total trade and turnover in lakhs so now we'll analyze the closing prices from the data frame first we will extract the date value from this date column date values respectively are 28 27 26 and so on so first of all we have to convert this date column into the specified format which would be date time in this case earlier the date time format was not there it was the object type data type so first we need to convert then we need to format it in terms of year month and date so and then we will store it in a new column which is called date so df dot index equals to df date and then we gave the index value of the database as date and then we are plotting the df close which is these values according to the time which is df date and the label is close price history and the figure size we set the figure size previously but we can also change it now of any kind so we ran this and it showed a plot here is listed all the years in which the 
which the data set has and this is the closing price of the stock which we are predicting so in 2011 it had this value and it went highest in 2018 as you can see so this was a beautiful plot i must say now we'll sort the data based on date time and filter date and close columns in order to filter date and close columns we'll create a new data frame using pd.dataframe command and we'll keep the columns as date and close but first we would sort the index according to the date and ascending equals to true we would sort the database in ascending order then for i in range we are basically creating a for loop statement in order to create new values in the new data set whose columns are date and close now we will run this it ran and then now we are using the normalizing function to normalize the new filtered data set normalizing means we are reducing the values using min max scalar basically as we all know that min max scalar transforms the values to be between 0 and 1 so that our lstm model would easily handle our values and predict so this is what it does so this is our scaled data now we are dividing the data into train data and validation data this is these both are our labels train data x and y train data now we are fitting the values into train data x and train data y these both are the labels you must remember this okay so we'll run this first it ran completely now we should build and train the model since we have both the train data set train labels validation data set and validation labels now it's time to train the model in order to train the model we must import certain libraries which will be essential in creating the model so from keras.models we will import sequential and from keras.layers we will import lstm and dropout and dense these three are the layers of the model which we will be creating so yeah so we name the our model as lstm model equals to sequential and we are adding layers to it we first added an lstm layer with return sequences true and input shape should be the shape of the input we are giving to our model not any other thing if we keep it anything else then it must say an error and then we are adding a dense layer remember this is the output layer of our model so if we have two columns in output then i should write two but here we only have one column so we'll write one itself and then we are compiling the model and we are naming the loss as mean squared error in prediction or time series analysis we use the loss as mean squared error and optimizer as adam like this is common and then we would use model dot fit to train the model and this was our train data set this is our train labels and we are training on one epoch epoch means the number of times you are inputting the model the data set and batch size is one and verbose equals to two now we would run this it would take some time to run
yeah so the loss is very minimal as you can see e to the power minus 4 so the loss was very minimal and it took 27 seconds for an epoch uh, if you use a gpu runtime we'll see what runtime i'm using here change runtime type Yes, if you use a GPU runtime, then it would be more efficient. Uh, now, take a sample of data set to make stock price prediction using the LSTM model. From the given database, you will extract a sample of data set to make the stock price predictions. So, we'll run this. It ran this. This statement is very important. LSTM underscore model dot predict. It does all the functions of prediction. So you shouldn't miss this. And X underscore test is the data frame on which we want to test our model. Now we'll save the LSTM model using dot save method. Now we'll visualize our predicted stock costs what we predicted for the future so we'll run this so yeah so till 2014 this was the trend and after this we have predicted the trend the green one and the orange ones both are close and predictions from valid data so as you can see the orange and green ones are almost colliding with each other which means our model is trained perfectly and it predicted the values very efficiently so this is how you do a stock market prediction and forecasting using stacked lstm model